you doing? I'm taking this battery off so we can put it on this big ugly dump truck out back. Mm. Perfectly good running vehicle and we're stealing parts off of it. Yeah, no, but you said so, so oh. if you're gonna if you're gonna roast somebody, roast yourself. Uh-huh. Okay. You betcha. Let's go throw this junk on this other junk. So what are we working on today? Uh, there it is. 73 F600. Look at it. It's terrible. Rusty. <laughs> Don't you say it's terrible. You'll hurt its feelings. Oh, but look at it. It's so fugly. Oh, yeah. But what did we have to do to make it start after sitting for 20 years? Throw a bunch of crap in it. <laughs> Throw a battery on it and some fuel. Yeah. So all in all, it sat pretty well. How much does this hold? Uh, I don't know, but it's well, it's either leaking or you're doing something. I'm spilling a little bit. So what we're going to do is carburetors leaking from everywhere. We want to throw this Chinese Edelbrock something crap on there and an adapter plate. See if we can get it to run a little better because you started it up and you have to keep it running. Or else you're doomed. Or it will die. Yeah, also, it might catch on fire at any moment, so that's. Yeah. That's fine. All right. All right. We don't really need this up there right now. I've got a half inch in my pocket. Good, because it's a 716. That's good. Well, here's this. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's going to be 716. Yeah. Uh-huh. So I'll go get that 716. Okay, bye. Okay. Still recording. No. Okay. No, I'm... Oh, let's take this whole crusty thing off. Oh. Perk's a big old truck. Let's crawl up on here. It's a good, uh, Throttle linkage they've got here. Yeah, just a piece of wire. It's fine. Perfect. Completely, completely perfect. <sighs> oh god, I sat on it. You didn't grab a half for nothing. Yeah, I knew it needed. Now how are you gonna how are you gonna make that fuel line work, huh? With some stuff. Uh huh. I guess we think this is a 330 FT. It's a Ford engine, so it is a Ford. How astute of you. Vacuum room. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, I guess it should be fine. Yeah. It's not that bad, actually. It's ripped in the middle. Oh, there's just nothing in the middle. There you go. That weighs nothing. Yeah. It does, however. So we're going to go machine this plate out <clears throat> so that way we can get a socket inside well my hand's not working inside this bolt right here because it is too small for the nut and the socket to fit yeah rod is for in this package anyways so we went and we just got a diaphragm because rigging was going to go poorly yeah very complicated so complicated not planned out very good <laughs> no no i'd rather spend five dollars than break stuff yes so here we are doing it the right way sort of i mean yeah define right i mean sort of it should work better anyway it'll work better 
It's not that dirty on the inside for what it is and how long it has sat. We attempted to take the one out of the Holly 600, but it's a rectangular diaphragm instead of a square diaphragm. So it would not bolt up. No, it was not going to work, unfortunately. As you can see. No, I'm gonna... Yeah. Ah, that's pretty clean. <clears throat> Struggling a little bit? Yeah. You make these packages style proof. Yep. I assume it goes this way. Look at that, it even fits. That's one new, brand new, completely rebuilt carburetor. Yep. In only five minutes. I'm not even gonna open it because I don't wanna know. <laughs> I feel like I know what it looks like on the inside and it runs and I don't wanna deal with that noise. <clears throat> Ta-da! Let's put it on. <sighs> then I guess we will go uh, attempt to move this into the bay and uh, see if we can get some brakes on this big old thing. Yeah. Oh good, you're back. Yeah. Did you bring me one nut? Yeah. Cool. Where's the other one? I don't know. It's you. It's, it's you. You're the nut. Okay. I'll see what you did there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> well, I'll see if I can get this started. <clears throat> All right, well, we are going to try to get this started. Zoom back, move back just a little bit. Get a better, less tilty angle. yourself. There we go. And now it just takes about a billion years worth of cracking. But she'll move. She'll start.
Atta boy. Also, the the yeah. overflow dude just kind of <laughs> just kind of mm -hmm. overflow. Now it's one of those self clear self clearances, and it's fine. Once it has too much in it, then it you know it's just, yeah. <coughs> Don't that what makes me? Exactly. It's it's completely yeah. normal. Oh, I'm gonna guess that's a half, huh? Yeah. <coughs> Probably the least somewhere that's kind of going in. It's not a half. It's like a seven sixteen. I think I got a pocket full of stuff. I'll be dang, it is a 7 16th. Oh, it's uh. It's stuff. I might need some flyer for that. We're going, to, we're going to give you the full tour of this unit. Oh, yeah, this unit. This unit. Look at that. It's got a bed delete kit. Beautiful. And then it's got brand new interior. Vented four boards, you know, for airflow. And, you know, some more vents. Yep. It's got the short throw extended shifter. And then you know you're stopping real fast button. Oh yeah. Yeah. 41 inch tires. Yeah, big old tires. It's factory loose, it's fine. Yeah. Last time on the road, 2002. A beauty. Yeah. <laughs> Drives like I bought one. Yeah. It's a turd, that's for sure. It's a beautiful turd. Yeah, it's a turd. Yeah. So we're going to try replace the master cylinder. 
Got a <laughs> brand rebuilt new one. We'll put that on there. See if that fixes some of the brakes. Some of them. I mean, we don't need all of them. We just need some of them to work. Front brakes are good. Yeah. We've already got back brakes in you know, the form of an e-brake. We have a newfound water leak coming from the crack in the radiator. You know, it's just, you know, right like this area, just everywhere. And then the overflows just broke off. So that's great. <laughs> They're in the drawer that's labeled pliers. Uh -huh. Well, I mean, they're labeled on the blue one too. The blue one? On the top, top of the drawer. So you look. Oh, I see it. Pliers. Uh, reading is fun. Fundamental. Oh, yeah. Knippics. Knippics. For when it's Knippics. tight, you just grab one of these. Yeah. And then it's not tight. Either. We'll get you in here. Uh. That's the best part is now that the engine's warm. Yeah. I can just it's enjoy a, a nice a nice warm. It's got a heater built into it. I'll show you. I'll show you all. Look, it came off without snapping. I just got the rod and the four bolts and ta -da. Yeah, and it just comes right off of there. I, I should, wonder, uh, should probably blow through that rod. This thing. I'm just going to take it just in case. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the other one's got one on it. Ouchies. Fixed the temperature gauge. Uh -huh. I put the wire back on. It's oh. fine. I'm sure it'll work now. Yeah, it has to. So what are those, half inch, you think? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, it's half. Should grab me an impact because I don't feel like doing that by hand. I feel like being lazy. How you want to blow that line out? From what the bottom? Yeah. All right. Oh god, here I go getting out again. This hood sure doesn't open as high as I wish it would. There we go. Let me see what's holding on on the inside. Well, over here, we got some more weight reduction. Hell yeah, the race truck. That's for the vents, and then we got extra vintage over here. Oh, 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 yep. Hey, yeah, you give me more oh. speed holes over there? Yeah, it's it's fine. It's factory. I'm trying to get this clip off the brake pedal. Ask me if I'm succeeding. Are you succeeding? No. No. Well, that's good. Whoever installed this didn't want it to come off. Funny how that works. Hey, that's a thick firewall. Keep the fire out. I mean, <laughs> they're pretty thick.
I think I know where all the brake fluid went. Yeah. Out of this. <clears throat> oh, that thing is garbage. I see. Huh. Well, that just, uh... Any thoughts? Boat broke, can't be fixed. <clears throat> what? Bolt broke, can't be fixed. I. Uh, yeah. Got it out of there, but uh, I don't know if it worked again. So the secret is you just gotta hit it a lot harder with a hammer. Yeah. Yeah. That is the secret. this. Oh well, it's one hole. I mean, it can't yeah. be that hard. Oh. Okay, you put your finger over the hole, I'll go push. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay. Yep. Nothing okay. happened. Something's happening. Fluid level's going down slowly. Okay, so tell the people what happened. What do you mean what happened? Like, what happened with the brake pedal? Why it would not work? When we got it? The truck? No, why? This? Well, that, yeah. Oh, no, we, we added another inch because it was too short. Yeah. Because apparently this one was different. <clears throat> Even though they were supposed to be the same. You yeah. know. So the pedal was staying basically where it's at now. Actually, it's a little, a little bit higher. It was about here. Yeah, it was about there, and it's supposed to be on up, like there. So yeah, hopefully this resolves that issue. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe we can actually bleed it. Yeah. Because that is where it is now, which makes a lot more sense. Yeah, the rod even wants to be there. Our little, our little thing. Put this back in. Actually, maybe get something out of this instead of nothing. Oh, I've got a vacuum blader too. No, not too fancy. Yeah, we should use that. We should. That would save a bunch of time. It would. It's gonna make a mess. Do it. Okay, now stick a line on. Stick the line on it? Yeah, hold it. Oh, it's still a lot of air in it. Yeah, there's still a lot of air. Do it again. Okay, I'm coming off of it. Okay. Okay, going down. Yep. Okay. Oh, dang, there's still air in it. Okay, do it again. Okay. You're down all the way? Yep. Oh my gosh. Why does it do that? Right. Here, pull, put pull back up. Okay. I'm gonna put some more fluid in it. As long as it's pushing fluid out, it's the same thing. We can get the rest of it. There. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. 
Yeah. You ready to try to put this line on here? Yeah, I'm gonna push it down and you put the line on. Okay. Okay. Alright, keep holding it. All right, we're gonna attempt to bleed the back of this thing. Where are the bleeders on these big old? Oh, the what? I don't know if it needs any yet. I didn't. I gotta find the bleeders. There they are. Wow, that doesn't look good. We've had a small snag. One brick line appears to be broken. Which is pretty good for, you know, having this much rust. So we will attempt to fix this, I suppose. Stuff too much, it'll break. Oh, oh no. Okay. Oh, it's just dripping from everywhere on me. That's a little upsetting. It's a little smoky in there. Is it on fire? Probably. <laughs> it might be. You put the e brake on? Yeah. Oh, good. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's all just all that brake fluid we spilled. <laughs> well, hey, it stops. Mm -hmm. It's better than it was. All right. 
All right, well, uh, I guess we're done for the day. We got rear brakes out of it, but uh, I'm pretty sure both front hoses are gone. So we'll try to source some of those. They can't be too expensive. But otherwise, everything on this truck for some reason still mostly works. I'm not sure why. It's just a hateful old thing that doesn't idle. But uh, yeah, I guess next time we get to this, we'll just try and finish up the safety stops and then try and find someone who wants to buy it. Yeah, it's for sale. You it's for sale. Wants it. It's not that expensive. <laughs> Under a thousand dollars, you way, can have this. way under a thousand. So, yep. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like and a comment if you have something to say, even if it's trashing on Fords, which happens so often. I like to do that a lot. You do, mm -hmm. you do. Is it but, junk? No, not not junk. Look at it. Yeah, definitely not junk. Yeah, but anyways, thanks for watching.